Hey there and welcome to my channel. So today we want to have a look at how to climb up the pole but do so in a graceful way. For this I'll first give you some tips and tricks on what to pay attention to when you know how to climb the pole already but it's still not really graceful. But if you don't even know how to climb up the pole yet, that's no worries. Just stay with me. Afterwards we're just gonna do like a little step-by-step -step pole climb tutorial where we just implement all the things that I'm just gonna be talking about now. And the best part is we're gonna do all of this on the spin pole. Yeah! So the three parts we want to be paying attention to today is first of all the grip that we are using, the arm action and also the leg action. So firstly we've got the grip. I really love the forearm grip for this one because it just gives us more space between us and the pole. So the forearm grip looks like this. We just have one arm really high, the other one is holding the pole lower, like about our face height, I guess. And we're just going to place our forearm onto the pole to be able to push our body away from the pole. So of course we've got the shoulders nice and engaged. And yeah, our forearm is actually a little bit across the pole. So this way we've got like nice distance to the pole when we are spinning. So let's get to the second part, the arms. So when it comes to our arms, there are like two things we should pay special attention to. Firstly, are we re-gripping a hundred times? So are we basically climbing like this? Well, exaggerated, but like some people unconsciously do re-grip a lot of times. And I did so in the beginning as well. So usually you just come up here and then you kind of want to switch your hands again, which is not even necessary. So all we have to do is take our bottom arm, place it up, and then use the arm that's now below for our forearm grip. So it kind of looks like this. So I'm right here. And now I can keep climbing from here. Well, I kind of get high to the ceiling already. So the room's a little bit small, so I can't go too high. But I guess you know what I mean. So no re-gripping. The next thing is our arm's range of motion. So we really want to take advantage of it when we're taking it up. So what we want to do is with the bottom hand, we want to like create a little circle here. And we can even like arch our back a little bit, tilt our head back a little bit, just to like make it flowier, make it more graceful. And that way we just create like a little circle and place the arm on top while we're climbing. I'm just going to quickly demonstrate that one. So now I'm creating a circle and I'm even looking at my head as I do so. And I can come up higher without regripping. It's a little bit tricky with a low ceiling like this, but I guess you get the hang of it, right? Okay, so the next thing to focus on are our legs. What are our legs doing when we're climbing up? So I would just kind of like making them follow, which can look nice as well. So we're basically here, and as we climb up, we're just making them follow, like this. It's of course totally fine to just make your legs follow like that, but we can just make the climb look a little bit more interesting by doing like different things with our legs. And yeah, I've probably done it already when I demoed before, because I kind of just do it automatically and it's really hard for me not to do so. But I'm just going to show you once more what I mean. So rather than just sliding our leg up like this, we can actually try to extend our legs to the back before we even start the climb or also in between the climbs so it would just look like this. So I'm extending my legs back, putting them on top of the pole and coming up higher. Extending my legs to come higher. What we can also do is try to vary in our leg placement there, or in our leg shapes. Yeah, just have a look at this one for example. So we're extending here as well, but we can also do like different leg shapes. And just hold them for a bit before climbing up higher. Another little tip for Saving energy to get high on the pole or to doing so faster is to basically just take your legs higher up. Like a lot of people just underestimate 
how much help this is for you because when you just take your legs up to here it's not as much higher as compared to take them all the way up to here so I'm just gonna quickly demo that again so just trying to get them up as close to my body as I can and that way I can just go faster oh, nearly throwing over things so make sure you've got a lot of space to practice at home so let's now implement all of this step by step so graceful climbing for total beginners first of all as we've already said one hand goes up the other one the hand will be about face height and we cross with our forearm to allow this push away from the pole so we really want to engage our shoulders as we're doing this and you can even try out to just Spin around like this, or just hold it here. Try out both sides also. We have the arm high, this arm is just crossing, and we're just holding it here, or even taking a little bit of momentum to hold it. If that's all good, let's have a look at the feet placement. So, the feet face placement we have one leg kind of in front of the pole. And the other one behind. Our knees are squeezing here to hold on to the pole. Yeah, just show it from the side. So just like this. Just try to get comfortable with it on the ground first. Now for the first little climb, we can actually place our legs like this already and do the little lift with the legs or the little slide with the legs up. So we're holding our hand here forearm grip here and as we push away we can actually slide our legs up and try to hold on here like I'm really squeezing my knees to be sitting in this nice position here it's actually not too bad and yeah you can push up by lifting your hips up so you don't have to really pull with your arms but you can just lift your hips up and then of course we can do this once more a little bit higher so just sliding them up Pressing our knees together because of because we have this forearm grip here, we also have like more space to really like see what our legs are doing, whether we place them properly, and yeah, we have more space to just position them. And we can either just slide them down, or we can just take them off the pole by really pushing our forearm into the pole. So with the forearm grip, you can actually really like practice on pushing into it. Like now, I'm having it really close to me. And now I'm actually pushing my body away and this is exactly what we want to be doing while we're climbing up. Of course, don't forget to do the other side. Ooh. Okay, now we can check out whether we can find the right leg placement without having our feet on the pole already. So let's just come to our forearm grip and try to place our feet. So I'm forearm grip and I'm trying to place them. And then I'm driving my hips all the way up and I can come all the way back down. You should of course do the other side as well. And if you're feeling like comfy with finding the pole on that, we can do all of this with a little bit of spin. So to take the spin, we're basically just going to have the top hand up, shoulders back and down. And we're going to extend the outside leg and just take a little bit of momentum. Like I'm not kicking, I'm not really like... I'm just trying to fall into it, but I'm not really like taking a lot of momentum out of it. I'm not trying to do it really, really quick. I'm basically just falling into it because you're gonna get really, really quick. So, we're just gonna fall into it. And as we fall into it, we're kind of automatically turning towards the pole as well. So we can place our second hand, our second arm into the pole, into the forearm grip, and we can push our body away. So just as before, we will be able to place our legs onto the pole. Alrighty, let's try that one out. So, shoulders engaged, top arms holding onto the pole really tight, and we're just extending the leg and just falling into it. My forearm comes onto it, and I'm placing my legs onto the pole. If it's too quick, just come back down. If it's not, well, feel free to do another one of them. So, placing the feet on the pole, and coming up. Placing the feet on the pole and coming up. Remember to always push your hips up here. It's not just the arms doing it. 
because that would be like really exhausting and we're always trying to save energy. So now that we are here ready, we can actually include all the other things that I said before as well. So firstly our arms, when we're here, just gonna go a little bit lower with that. We really want to be circling that arm out and take it on top. And as we come up, we're actually bending this leg because we're pushing ourselves up with our hips. So we're bending this arm here and we can place the other arm on top and we've got our nice forearm grip here again. So I'm just gonna quickly demo that one again just so you don't have to search for it in the video. So it would be basically like coming out. And here I'm already crossing the pole with my forearm to get that nice forearm grip. And we come halfway around. As we're coming down, we're doing exactly the same thing. Taking my legs a little bit further down, releasing the top hand and taking it all the way down. The top arm now wants to extend because otherwise it's too short and here we can place the forearm onto the pole again before we come down. So now we can pay attention to the leg. So we can either extend them to the back right from the beginning just to make the beginning of the climb more spectacular. We can extend them to the back in between just to make it look nicer. We can even include some little leg shapes here. So all you want to be paying attention to for that is to do like all the things. Like have the forearm grip here and then we're just taking a little bit of momentum, so just like that. And we're just going to keep our legs there and then rather than having them here, we're actually extending them to the back. So you can feel yourself actively extending the legs to the back. So let me just demo the whole climb with different leg shapes as well. So just taking a little bit of momentum, forearm grip, extending them to the back. As you come into the pole, you're going to be quicker as well because we're getting closer to the pole. So now I'm extending them again, and I can take the legs to the one side, to the other side, place them on the pole, whatever I would like to do. So, coming back down, I'm going in a circle again, to just reach the floor again. Alrighty, so I really hope that you could get something out of this video, that there were like some interesting tips and tricks for you there, or that you could follow like the step-by-step -step guide on how to climb the pole in a graceful way. I hope you find some inspiration from that and yeah, can implement it into your own routines. Also bear in mind that even knowing those things, it's not gonna change from now to just the next day. Like it just takes a little bit of time to actually really get all these different moves into you. So just take it step-by-step, -step. just take it easy. First pay attention to the forearm grip, just get that one right, then pay attention to the arms, because if we're trying to do everything at once, we usually just forget about certain parts anyways. Also, when we're learning like new tricks on that, we really often flex our feet automatically, just because our brain's so focused, so everything's like under tension. So yeah, after a while, you'll be able to just point them. Yeah, or we're just flexing them because we're just constantly kicking things like I usually do in this room here. So just let me know in the comments below, what do you think of those little tips, tricks? Did you know them? Did they help you? Do you need to know anything else? Like, are there any other questions that you have? Like, just let me know below. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Maybe even subscribe. And yeah, see you in the next video, I guess. Bye. Happy training.